All right, in this video, <clears throat> I'm just going to demonstrate some simple just extrusions on things. We're going to make a polygon sphere. Polygon cube. I mean, hit 5 on the keyboard, goes into shaded mode, I zoom in. Um, if I want to extrude, I hold down right mouse button. Go down to face. I can select the face on this cube here. I'm just going to extrude the top. Edit polygons. Extrude face. Now I've got my nifty little gizmo here and I can pull it up. I can pull it to the side and up. Angle it, whatever. Rotate it. What I actually want to do is I want to make another another extension coming up from the center but not just flush like this. So I'm actually going to click on one of these little squares on the end of the arrows. It's a scale square and it opens up a light blue one in the middle here. And I'm actually going to grab that and you'll see what it does. See? So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to leave it selected just like it is because the face is already selected. So why unselect it? And I can go edit polygons, extrude face again. And then I'll just pull it up. Pretty cool. Now I want to make one coming out of the side, but I don't want it to touch. I don't want it to touch this base part here. You just do almost the same principle again. Edit polygons, extrude face. Click on one of these little squares. Doesn't matter which one. We'll click on this one now. A little blue one, light blue one opens up. There we go. Edit uh, polygons, extrude face. I'll pull it out. And I can also do the scale thing here too and see, see what it does and create like a triangular looking. In my case, I just want to. I undid what I did. Right okay. Let's extrude face again. There we go. And I got a pretty cool looking. Uh, you know. Well, it just goes to show you how you can build things. You can go and select this face and. You, know, you can do all kinds of nifty things with it. Do that. You can do your scale tool and scale it to where it will just like come to a point. It could be something sharp. I don't know. Soap dispenser. Oh, um, now I'm going to demonstrate it with a cylinder. Polygon primitives. Cylinder. Okay. And uh, I want to grab all these faces on the top. My brother was asking me about this the other night. I'm going to do a neat little trick here. I'm going to position it so I'm looking at it on the side. I'm going to go faces, and I'm just going to drag select this. All right? So I have the ones on here on this part that I don't want. So I just hold down shift and do a, just a thin selection on them. And it removes them, and there they are right there. And um, I can just do the extrude face again. Pull it up. I mean, you, if you're accurate about it, you can go ahead and and make these manual bends like this in the pipe. See what I'm doing? Oh, and when I want to just redo it, instead of having to go up here to extrude face again and redo the extrusion all over again, I just hit the G key, and G key basically uh, redoes whatever the last command was you just did. Like, see, I can just major command. It's not going to do the rotation. But it'll, like in a menu command, like the extrusion, it, it redoes that. See? Hit E. Rotate a little more. And now, actually, I made a pretty decent bend. Just go back to object mode. You know, that's not a really, really bad uh, bend for doing it manually and um, that's basically how extrusions work 